Hello everybody, so welcome back to Alternative Inverts, hope you're all doing okay. Um, come back from work today and Kieran, the wonderful husband that he is, has surprised me with a package, which is a mystery box from <laughs> Unseen Universe. So let's open it up and have a look at what's inside. It's exciting. We've also got Phoebe out with us on the video today, so hopefully she'll be quieter because she's out rather than being ignored. So let's see what's in the box. So this is the first time that we've actually ordered anything from Unseen Universe. Um, we've had, I think we had a Mantis from them before from one of the shows. Um, I can't remember which show it was, it was one from early last year I think it was and um, so yeah first time that we've ordered from them so let's see what we've got ah look how sweet he is Rach thanks for the surprise box from Spider Planet here's a little something back I'm sure you'll love Kieran I don't know if that's focused or not and on the back is a man who's saying I know Kung Fu <laughs> I don't know if that's a hint as to what's in here or not, but um, yeah, quite excited to see. So, first off, got some bits of volume, which is a little bit intriguing as to what is going to be big enough to go onto a volume. Um, because when we've had a manti mantis before, it was only a tiny, tiny one. Whereas Kieran said we could just cut them up and use bits of them in each enclosure. So, um, there's the card for Unseen Universe if you've not brought anything from them before. Um, contact details are there as well, but we'll also put them in the description below for anybody who's interested. <laughs> the label of one, and I'll show you in a sec what it is. I'm gonna have a lot of rehousing to do. <laughs> so let's see what we've got first. Okay, I know very little about man mantids. Um, so I'm probably going to absolutely destroy trying to pronounce some of the names that are on here. But this is a D Trigonodera. So I haven't got a clue what that is. But what we'll do is we'll get some close-ups of the little guys as well, um, and we'll do like a little photo montage of all the um, of all the man. It's probably be easier than me trying to hold each one up to the camera and trying to see it that way. A lid. I hope that doesn't mean we've got an escapee. Eh? <laughs> oh, hang on, we've got another one here. Let's try and be really, really careful because there's so many. So we've got a P, Papulcra. Got no idea again what that is, but the colours are gorgeous. That first. So this, it looks to me like an orchid mantis, it's one that I do know. What the scientific name is, I haven't got a clue. Um, but it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to show that one up to the camera. I don't know if you can really see it, but we will get some better shots. But yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. You're a gorgeous little creature, aren't you? What's this one? So this is a, a D Labatra. It's quite a dark one compared to the others. I'm guessing them unsexed and less than uh, <coughs> less the female logo. Yeah, that one ain't got a logo on there, but I don't know whether it's... So it's probably a female because of the size of it. Yeah. So next up we have got... This is the one that made me laugh when I first opened the box because it was the first thing I saw. Psycho Mantis. <laughs> I don't think that really needs any further explanation. But when you compare it to the size of the other ones... Um, Let's just see. So you've got, just as an example, you've got that size in that tub. But look at this little dinky dude. <laughs> That's it. That little black dot. That's it. It's tiny. But I get the feeling that being as it's called Psychomantis, it's probably going to have a lot of attitude. Look how tiny it is. Yeah, I'm just being careful because I don't know what else we've got in here. This is some sort of enclosure, I'm guessing. Let's open yeah, it up. I've got that piece. Oh, okay, thank you. 
got any hints or tips or any suggestions for keeping um, mantids? Obviously, we'll be doing some research on each individual species just to make sure that we are giving them the right care. Um, but yeah, if anybody has got any hints or tips on any of the ones that I've said so far, then by all means, let us know. How does this work? Oh, it's like a spirally thing, I think. I've got it. No, yeah. do you wouldn't. <laughs> let my glamorous assistant do it. really cute <laughs> yeah so we also need to find somewhere to hang this as well and I think we also need to find some shelf space don't we for yeah we'll sort of. yeah we'll find some bits and bobs Ooh. so these are some enclosures I'm guessing yeah I've got them sized enclosures to put them in and they've also got um lids with mesh and air holes in as well so it saves me having to mess about trying to put all the um the bits of material over which will be really really handy just make sure we haven't missed anybody we have there's more oh gosh how many is there I think Kieran's just done this just to keep me out of his way with reusing. <laughs> this is another little tiny one, and this is a P. Wahlbergie. And I think the fact that it's a, a Wahlbergie, we should call it Mark Wahlberg. Why not? <laughs> we got past the point of naming everything, but I think that's just too good an opportunity to pass up. It's another little fella, or girl, who knows? Or And this is, by the looks of it, an Ozebrata. So it's got a decent bit of size to it, if you can see it, maybe not. Very good. And I think, just have one last sift through and double check. That is everything. So really, really pleased with that. Thank you. It's okay. Got lots, lots of little babies to um, to look after. Right. So literally just about to do the outro on the video, and it turns out that there's a couple more surprises in here that we hadn't spotted. <coughs> first of all, so thankfully we did spot them in the end. Um, I can't believe there's actually more in the box. To be honest, really. So let's have a look. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> oh jeez, what is that? Oh, I don't know. Look. Or Orientalis. That's that one in there. That stick looking thing. That's it. So if it's a stick, it's doing a good job. <laughs> Ooh, is a baby orchid. H. I was going to say coronavirus. It doesn't say coronavirus. H. Coronavirus. <laughs> Coronatias. It's smudged. You don't just. I can't read. Coronatus.
yeah after the um the two extras <laughs> that we nearly missed in the um that were in the enclosure cups we've got a grand total of two four six eight small mantids the one big mantid um they were all part of the mystery box kieran brought everything else separately um it was a 50 pound mystery box in terms of the value of what it's worth i'm not 100 percent sure um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, do some research on all of these little diamonds, um, find out how they need to be um, housed or their husbandry, um, get some enclosures set up for them. So that's it from me, from the mystery box full of mantids, um, from Kieran. Bye Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for watching, see you later, bye.